All right, so we're almost done with trimming, but there's one more super cool thing that you can learn and you can take advantage of, and it's called slip and slide. Now, I mean, come on, it's gotta be fun, right? So let's talk about slipping and sliding. And what slipping and sliding are is there are two ways of adjusting the contents of a clip without changing the overall project. And I'll show you what I mean. So start by selecting the trim tool. And with the trim tool, right now what you've done so far with the trim tool or what you've learned is that if you click an edit point with the trim tool, you get the roll and you can then roll the edit. But if you select a clip with the trim tool, you get a different feedback here. You get this these brackets around the clip. And what this is showing you is that when you click and drag, you're going to change which frames of this clip you're using. So you see when I drag this, I'm changing, I'm, I'm basically changing from the source footage which portion of the source footage I'm using. This is called slipping the clip. It's like we're slipping it in time underneath the rest of the timeline. The rest of the clips don't change, but we can change which frames within the source clip we're using. And you see the feedback up there in the viewer is showing me the new in point and the new out point of what I'm changing. You also notice that the uh, connected clips move along with it so that the connected clip is is tied to a specific frame in the video, if I slip the clip, that connected sound moves along with it so it stays in perfect sync. If you wanted to slip the clip without changing the position of the connected clip, hold that tilde key down. And just like when we were doing that before, that enables you to slip the clip without moving the connected clip. So if the connected clip was was more important to a point in time and not to a point in the in the video itself, then you would be able to have that option. So again, by default, it moves the connected clips along, hold the tilde key down, and you can slip without moving the connected clips along. And again, why are we doing this? Well, it enables you to basically keep the overall duration of your project the same, keep the duration of the clip the same, but make a subtle adjustment to the specific frames you're using within that clip. This is something that I find you do typically towards the end of a project when you've got everything else pretty well set and you don't want to change anything, but you just want to make a little finesse to a certain clip. You can do that very easily. Select the trim tool and then select the clip, uh, not an edit, but the clip, and then click and drag. The other option is slide. And slide is when you press the option key and click and drag. And now you see what happens is the outside uh, brackets are selected. And when we drag, we're changing the outgoing frame of the last shot and the incoming frame of the next shot. The shot itself that we're clicking doesn't change, but it allows you to reposition this shot in your sequence. So what basically what I find this is most useful for is for like those cutaways where I have an interview underneath it and I want to move the cutaway in time. You can move it a little bit later or a little bit earlier without changing the duration or the frames within that specific clip. So again, these are things, both of these are things that you typically do near the end of your editing process when you don't want to mess with stuff that much. You want to keep most things the same and just make a little adjustment. So again, if you click with the uh, regular, the just click and drag a clip, you're, you're slipping it, option click it, you're sliding it. 